If you want to boost your productivity and creativity, note-taking apps are essential tools for organizing your thoughts and ideas. Today, we're comparing two popular ones, Obsidian and Microsoft OneNote. Obsidian excels with features like graph views for linking ideas and customization through plugins, making it ideal for knowledge management. OneNote, backed by Microsoft, offers an easy-to-use, cloud-integrated experience with AI-powered assistance from Microsoft Copilot. Each has strengths and quirks, so whether you prefer visual connections or seamless syncing, let's see which tool fits best for your workflow. Obsidian is known for its powerful linking features and unique knowledge graph. It's like a virtual spider web of your ideas that shows how all your notes connect visually. Obsidian is all about customization and taking control of your note-taking. However, using Obsidian involves a learning curve as you'll need to learn some formatting syntax. It can feel like you're doing a bit of coding just to format notes, which may not be everyone's cup of tea. But for those who are up for the challenge, the learning curve is worth it. The flexibility and customization you get are unmatched. OneNote, on the other hand, has been a familiar name since 2003, especially for users in the Microsoft ecosystem. Designed like a digital notebook, OneNote is easy to pick up, especially with its rich text editing features, such as math equations and code blocks that make note-taking straightforward from day one. Though simple and functional, its interface can feel a bit clunky or outdated. So, if you're a visual thinker who loves connecting ideas, Obsidian may be the better choice. But if you prefer simplicity and easy functionality, OneNote might be more your style. Obsidian lets you create notes as individual markdown files, which you can then link together and visualize in a graph view. If you're someone who likes to connect ideas and create a personal knowledge base, this feature is truly useful. Personally, I find this especially useful when I'm working on a big research project or want to keep different notes linked in a logical web. It's almost like having a mini Wikipedia of your thoughts right there in Obsidian. On the other hand, OneNote organizes notes in digital notebooks with sections and pages. This system feels linear and straightforward, which is great if you're looking for a more traditional approach, like having an organized notebook with clear sections for each topic. OneNote is also well-suited for those transitioning from paper notebooks. But unlike Obsidian, OneNote lacks any way to visualize links between notes, which might feel a bit limiting if you've tried out Obsidian's approach. Obsidian is incredibly customizable. With a rich library of community plugins, you can adapt it to your exact needs, whether that's Kanban boards, calendars, or even AI plugins. You can also change themes and add CSS to personalize the look and feel of your workspace, which is a huge plus if you want a truly unique setup. OneNote doesn't have nearly as much customization. Sure, you can switch between light and dark themes and customize sections within notebooks, but the options are limited compared to Obsidian. OneNote is more about functionality than flexibility. Good for users who prefer a simple, out-of-the-box experience without too much tweaking. For teamwork and sharing, OneNote takes the lead. Your notes sync across all devices instantly, and since they're stored on the cloud, collaboration is pretty seamless. You can share your notes with colleagues, give them editing rights, and easily work together, which is a lifesaver in a team setting. Obsidian does offer collaboration, but it's a bit more of a hassle. You'd need to set up a sync feature, which is a paid add-on. And if you want cloud sharing, you'll need to link it to an external cloud service. Obsidian, however, has the unique benefit of local storage. This means you can work offline without any internet connection, which is great for those who need privacy or don't want to depend on the cloud. But the downside is clear. If collaboration is a big part of your workflow, OneNote's setup is simply more efficient. For me, Obsidian's local storage is best when I'm working on private projects, but for teamwork, OneNote is much more efficient.
If you heavily rely on AI for your day-to-day -day tasks, OneNote will give you a major advantage with Microsoft Copilot. This native AI assistant makes taking notes even easier, with features like summarizing notes, generating to-do lists, and providing analyses right within your app. This can save tons of time, especially for work-related tasks. In Obsidian, however, there's no built-in AI. The app is focused more on manual customization and organization, but it does offer some AI capabilities through community plugins, though they're not as seamless as OneNote's integration with Copilot. This is where each app's strengths stand out. Obsidian brings Canvas, a cool feature that lets you add multimedia files like PDFs, images, and videos next to your notes. Another cool thing about Obsidian is that it lets you publish your notes. So if you have been working on a project that you are proud of and want to share it with others, you can do just that. OneNote brings in some cool extras of its own, like stylus support for handwritten notes, creating to-do lists, and even draft plans. Plus, OneNote's Web Clipper lets you save entire web pages into your notes, which you can edit and annotate later. So if you want a creative way to display your thoughts, Obsidian has more of the brainstorm features. But if you're looking for practical productivity tools, OneNote's got some handy ones. OneNote offers a generous free plan, complete with 5 GB of OneDrive storage. If you need more space, you'll have to subscribe to Microsoft 365, which gives you additional features across Microsoft apps. Obsidian also has a free version, but advanced features like syncing and publishing come at an extra cost. At $5 per month for sync and $10 per month for publish, it can add up if you need these features. That said, Obsidian's core functionality remains free forever, and many users find that the add-ons are worth it if they're invested in the platform. And there you have it, the complete breakdown between Obsidian and OneNote. Personally, we feel that for work and collaboration, Microsoft OneNote probably takes the lead, thanks to its cloud syncing, AI-powered co-pilot, and integration with the Microsoft 365 ecosystem. If you're already in the Microsoft world, this app is a seamless fit. However, if you're building a personal knowledge base or like the idea of interlinked notes and knowledge graphs, Obsidian is ideal. Yes, it has a learning curve with markdown and fewer collaboration features, but if customization and visualizing your thoughts matter to you, it's well worth it. So which one will you be going for? Do let us know in the comments down below, and for everything else, don't forget to like, comment, and hit the bell icon for more content like this on your feed. Catch you guys in our next video.